Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday's Word. We're in the, the season of Advent, and I've been watching something unfold for over a month, probably for a few months. I want to take you to see a tree, a tree that I've seen moving in a most unusual way. So watch. What do you see? Take a moment and look at this tree. Tree's right up against the bank next to old buildings in Sheridan. It's along the main drive here in Sheridan and on the Yam Hill River, the city with a river that runs through it. This tree was cast down. I don't know if it was finally eaten away by the rushing water, but it's not only cast down, it's being eaten up. Something is chewing on it, it's gnawing on it. I assume it's a beaver, but at first it just had a few branches in and then it got swept farther down. It got swept lower and more and more it's being eaten away. I didn't think about what you see. I saw the tree cast down. I saw it sinking lower and lower. Then I thought about the words that came to mind, words I've heard many times before. They're found in Psalm 42 and again in Psalm 43. These are those words. Why, my soul, are you cast down? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. My soul is downcast within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, from the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. You know, the psalmist is, is Korah. He's from the sons of Korah. And those words just were profound for me because it's not uncommon for us to see a tree cast down. Whether the beaver started it or just the roots being washed away, it, it, it teetered and then it fell and then it was a little bit in the water and it just kept going lower and lower as the water rose and was being eaten on. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I let things eat on me. Sometimes I get downcast. And the psalmist did. And if you read the first part of Psalm 42, it's profound. He says, as the deer pants for the water brook, so my soul longs for you. And so there are things. He, he longs to be in worship. He longs to be in fellowship. He longs to be with the people of God, in, probably in the temple, in that place of worship. But he can't be. For whatever reason, he's not there. So he remembers from a distance. He says, my tears are my food all day. He's probably not eating. He's down. People are saying to him, where is your God? Where is your God? You're going through this hard time. Where is God in this? But there is resolve in what he says. Notice, notice it's not a denial. He knows he's downcast. He admits it. But the question is why? And then there is resolve. There's movement. I'm going to put my hope in God. I'm going to yet praise him because he is the source of my hope. And when Korah does that, there is encouragement, there is grace of remembering that he is in God's hands, that he is in God's care. Doesn't matter what the world's doing around him, he is safe and God is faithful and he is loved. That's true for you too. So next week, we're going to look at the tree, see how it's doing. We're going to dig a little more into this psalm and hopefully see how you're doing too. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you that we have these psalms that are very real, that are very honest. And Lord, we can be with you, real and honest. We can ask if we're downcast, why? Have we forgotten you? Are we going through real trials, real hardships? And, 
And so when we do, what would you have us do? To reach out, to, to open our Bibles again, to spend some time with you in prayer, to refix our focus and, our, and what our minds are dwelling on, what we're feeding on, O oh Lord. So Lord, feed us again today with your precious promises, with the delight of Advent as we anticipate the coming of our Savior, first as a baby, and finally as the King of Kings. But even now, today, as our present Savior, our ever-present help in time of trouble. So Lord, thank you for being our hope again today. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed week.